Unfinished Family Business Season 2, Mississippi River, La Crosse, Wisconsin. You know, I need to make the classic to try to win one for Pops. Also want a blue trophy really bad. only 10 people in this tournament now, which is kind of cool. So now we will take pictures of baits and rods. And it's all about media, right? Tournaments, it's always about trying to find the very best areas, right, to, to win. <laughs> and uh, Matt's in the top five. He's with inside of me. Brian News fishing a lot of my stuff right now. We're fishing a lot of the same water. Schmidty's in there. So we did. We found the good stuff. Which is which is awesome actually. So we did find the good stuff. Now it's just a matter of catching some catching some big ones today. I think we can do it. I feel I feel it. I mean, look. Some days are better than others. And hopefully today's gonna be one of those crazy awesome days where we go, wow, that was so cool. Can't believe I caught it. All those four pounders. Perfect. All right, here we go. Run, Matt. <laughs> What a season. Mission Unstoppable, that's been the theme for this week. And how fitting, right? I mean, we're, we can't stop. We just gotta keep going. You know, it's, uh, it's, it's, been, it's been a battle. We started off the year strong in Florida. We had a couple other good finishes. We had a couple bad finishes. So we were right there on that bubble range. So we had to come into this event with a good finish. And uh, what a blessing. We still got a shot at this thing. You know, Mobile Delvac has been a sponsor of this video series, so I want to thank them very much for this. And their oil, the Mobile Delvac, is, is what we use in our truck, obviously. And Truck Car Battle Wagon, it's a key part of what we do. I mean, as I travel around the country, there's not downtime. There's not, we're not showing up to an event and prepping the truck. And I, we go from one tournament to the next tournament. We've been 21 days straight. That is Mission Unstoppable. 21 days straight. And we have to make sure that our equipment runs right. I mean, from my boat to my truck, it has to be used the best. And Mobile Delvac Oil is, is really good, guys. So they created a website called Mission Unstoppable just for this. So there's going to be a link in the description at the end of the video. So check it out, guys. And uh, thank you for sponsoring this video. It's, it's good stuff. Your hands sore like mine. Dude, look at I had like, to put gloves on because, dude, I need Well, they didn't even cover up all my cuts. Like you see all my uh -huh. cuts. Yeah. <laughs> Got one on the back of my knuckle right there. Yeah. People wonder why I wear gloves, and they're like, "Oh, that." I, I hear this all the time. Like, they make fun of somebody because they got short sleeves and gloves on. I said, "Gloves. Not only does it protect your hands from the sun, because how many fishermen do you know have yeah. skin cancer? Right. Yeah. And of course, oh, yeah. Africa makes the best in the business. We're a little partial, but also our hands get absolutely destroyed, especially when you're in a fishery like oh, yeah. Mississippi River, or you look go up look, north smallmouth fishing. They're, they're like swollen. Look at that. Look at that. That's that's. People don't realize. I think you just have fat hands. <laughs> yeah, they are fat, <laughs> but they're extra fat right now. I can't even like. <laughs> Today, all I only need to put my things, my hand around things that this big. If you do that, it's gonna, not going to be the right species, I'm afraid here, <laughs> and it's going to chop your arm off. Yeah. But there's no gold eyes here, like no. giant man-eating shad, like we called it the last. Dude, yeah, that thing is scary. <laughs> scary. Warren's like this. It's a unique situation because there's literally nothing on the line other than victory or moving up. There's no points anymore. There's no more Bassmaster Classic qualifications anymore. It's literally catch everything you can to make as much money as you can or try to win the tournament. So I'm going to fish a little different today. I'm going to focus on areas that I feel like I have the best chance at a four pound plus bite. And so it might not be as fast and furious. I don't need a 12 or 13 pounds. 12 or 13 pounds ain't gonna do me any good. It's gonna finish me right where I'm sitting now. 
16, 17, 18, 19. We can make uh, we can make a move. We can make some money. We pull off something crazy, crazy. We can pull off a victory. So interesting, interesting day. Last tournament day of the season right now. species they are but there was a bunch of fish there Keeper, maybe, maybe. Keeper. All right. Number one. Number one. There's a little one, but it's all right. There's a nice one. Maybe a little better. What is that? Pike? Pike. I thought that was him. Come on, four pounder. Are welcome. All right, 16 pounds behind still. I'm winning this thing. Yeah. 
guys with the new bait. It's a nice one. Like I said, if we're going down, baby, we're going down swinging hard. Let's see how many's under that little sucker. Getting real. Probably a three. What you think? You gotta stay in the strike position on this deal because it's such a light bite you don't feel it just right because you you got to decide if it's a bite or if it's grass like you got to be super aware of what this thing's doing and uh so you want your body in a strike position you want your rod in the perfect position you want to be paying attention to everything you feel you and come over the grass flutter it down in the open holes and you're waiting for that that little thump it's not a real heavy hit but you got to reel down real fast and try to drive that hook the best you can so you know a lot of plastic it's weed, weedless rigged it's a long cast there's a lot a lot of stretch the other thing is watch your line as it sinks yesterday i caught that biggest one as it was sinking Come on. Got him. I don't think he's a keeper. Maybe. Doubt it though. Always be ready, you never know. He's not a keeper. Nope. And when you first hit them on braid, you just don't know. <laughs> it's just, I love it though, because even if a small one feels great for like the first five or six seconds, you're like, it's it's is it a big one? You wait for it to, to pull. 
pull back. <laughs> it really is on my nerves. Little move. I think he's a keeper. Not much of one, but. Okay. Oh, yeah. Two pounder. Two pounds more than I had a minute ago. Oh, yeah. That's four. We got four, man. All right, maybe we'll catch a bunch right here. Right. I love catching old, old smallies on top. Something special about those dudes right there. Sometimes. Oh. really nice. Oh, wrecked it. God. There's a big wad here, dude. I think we can catch a couple big ones here. That's a good one. That's a good one. Bait is the main issue. There you go, boys. How about that? It gives us five. We gotta get rid of everything to win. But maybe we can just have a good time and get paid for it. How about that? Oh, that's a big one. That's a big one. Oh, wow. Look at that one. Look at that one, guys. Wow. Wow. There we go. There we go. There we go. There we go. Where you been? Where you been, man? Came here yesterday. Try to hang out. That's a good one. That's a good one. That's a good one. Oh, another good one. Another good one, guys. Another good one. Another good one. Oh, yeah. Nice fish. Oh. There we go. That's awesome. That's awesome. I don't know if he's... 
I think he, I think he, bigger than this other one. Oh yeah. Uh, we just called up. Call action, baby. Oh, it feels pretty good, dude. I don't know, he's slipping drag. Oh yeah, nice fish. Look at that thing. That's a big old brown sally. Golly, there, that's a nice one. Yeah. Woo. Little brown sally. We'll take him, however. <laughs> that's crazy. Good stuff right there, guys. Now we got some culling to do now. We gotta figure out what's going on. We gotta figure out what's going on. Hey, how about that? Everybody on live watching, huh? Save this school. My, when I found it, I was like, this. maybe this would be my day four school that I can go catch some fish on. So far, it's been good. Okay, one, two, three, four, five. Bye bye now. Go on, get it. God, there's some giants with him, dude. I'm looking at one with him. Oh, there's a whole school of them with him. I got the smallest one in the group. I got the smallest one in the day. There's only five. Do you want them? He's really little. He's a eaty beaty fella. And he's a small mouth. They bite like little old bluegill. Check him. God, he's just skinny, man. Hold off! Dang it! Well, so far, it's been a fun event. You know, there was a lot on the line here coming into this thing. I was kind of on the bubble. I was on the bubble. And, um, you know, we had, to, we had to catch them. I think I had to finish like in the top 30 or so, which is not easy amongst this group of anglers so but this this uh this type of fishery i like this fits my uh style my pace real well and uh i've caught them caught them every day in practice too which was good i had a great practice and a lot of times you have a good practice you don't have such a good good tournament but it did work out this time you know today we're trying to catch a, a winning bag and that's the only thing it's on my mind. Oh. Well, there's my deal. It's the only one I had. Oh god, that's him, dude. That's him. No, he's not that big. He's a good one. He might help. I don't know. Gosh. It's so predictable. Like, you can let these holes rest and roll right back through there. Thunk. Yeah, I don't think he's going to help me. But... Doesn't help me. 
There you go. Little Mississippi River bass. Let's see if we can't get another one. Right where we left them. Just taking the swim bait and just fishing it real slow. That was without the blade? Yep. Caught that four pounder right here yesterday. 80, 83 feet away is where the boat was sitting, but I threw this way. I don't know. I don't know. I don't think he's big. I think he's little. Yep, little. All right, dude. All right, buddy. We've located them. Last eight minutes alive. Let's make something special. Maybe, maybe. Maybe help. I don't know. Dang. Come on, fours. I don't think he's gonna help me, dude. Dang it. I got a two five I gotta get rid of. I don't think that's but like two, 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 three. Getting me here this far. Lord, that was nice of you. Finish up the season strong. Doesn't look like we're gonna win, but hopefully we moved up. Made a little extra money. Good times. Thanks for hanging out with me. So Smitty's got about 16 or 17. Chris is kind of about the same. It's gonna come down to Chris and Brian. So, um, you know, look, if we can move up a few spots, that's great. I think every place is $1,000 or so, especially if I can get up in round fifth. It's a big jump, but um, I had a good time. I mean, it was so much fun, so much fun. Caught a lot of fish today. You know, I don't know if you got to see it or not. I, I don't know if I even saved my clip, but I came in with like five minutes to go and threw up on this little grassy point with that big swim bait and literally watched the fish plain as day open its mouth up come at it and and just miss the bait somehow and it was a big one so kind of a crazy week when it comes to losing fish and and whatnot but it is a monday lacrosse wisconsin i thought it was going to be me and like 12 people sitting here in this beautiful baseball stadium but you guys showed up here today and on behalf of everybody at bass we love you for coming out here on the final day of 2022's bassmaster elite series but we have a bunch of anglers left in this event we started with 90 anglers, cut it down to 47 and only 10 remain here today. He is a member of a multi-generational angling dynasty, a seven-time FLW Tour winner, a two-time classic qualifier from Clewiston, Florida, Scott Martin. With 43 pounds and six ounces because of the incredible this job done by Brandon Lester and his 18-1 to take the lead. 12 pounds, 12 ounces, he moves into second place with 56 pounds and two ounces. 56 pounds, two ounces, I mean a great tournament. Uh, he kind of smashed him today. But uh, you came in here needing a big event, and you did exactly what you needed to do. I mean, uh, I, I, I don't know if it's official yet, but I would imagine uh, at the end of this, it's all going to be official, and you'll be back in the Bassmaster Classic, and that's the whole reason you came here. Well, I'll tell you what. You said it this morning, blasting off. You said two-time Bassmaster Classic qualifier. And so that was awesome. You know, it was, uh, it was, it was stressful coming into this one. I'm not going to lie. You know, I had I figured I needed to finish in the top 30, and that's extremely hard against these guys. And uh, but this fishery, I love it. It's my style of fishing. You know, I hope we come here every single year. You know, it's just it's awesome. The cross is great. 
the food's great, the fans are great, and this river's awesome. So, you know, it, it, was, it was a good week. You know, it, it's we're going to finish on a high note. We started on a high note and looking forward to next year. And just want to say hi to my wife and my kids at home. I fished hard for you. I'm going to win a blue trophy one day. I'm going to win a blue trophy. So, we got next year to go try for it. Appreciate all the support, guys. Thank you so much. I don't think anyone doubts that. Awesome to have you here. Yeah, 12-12. I'm not sure what. Yeah, thought they weighed a little more than that, but it is what it is. Um, good tournament, you know. Hopefully, uh, hopefully Matt caught him. Hopefully he didn't catch him as good as man. I want to just beat Matt just by a little bit. But Brandon Lester, good job, dude. I don't know who's gonna win this thing, but it's gonna be between Schmidt and uh, Chris Johnson. So let's see what happens. I lost a couple. I lost two, three pounds smallmouth today. The smallmouth bit today. And they haven't really bit this week. I'm gonna ride with you. What you have? Dude, 12, 12. That scale got me again. <laughs> no, I'm serious. Hey, I'm gonna beat Hollywood. I know. I'm gonna beat Hollywood. I know. I'm mad about it. I looked it. at it. He was in six, and I was in seven. I yeah. said, Nah, hell with that. I can't. I no, can't. Dude, that don't work. Yeah, you wish some bad ju juju on my scale, <laughs> sir. Oh, I will. Forgot, did you? I sure did. A fellow member of Team Toyota. He's a three-time Bassmaster Classic qualifier. A two-time FLW Tour winner from Shelby, North Carolina, Matt Airy. My fish today, 12 pounds, 10 ounces. He moves into second place with 57 pounds and 10 ounces. 313 short of the overall lead, but man, you finished on a high note here. What a way to finish, and man, you've had a great season yourself, right in the top 10 for Progressive Bassmaster Angler of the Year. Man, you can't ask for any more than that, but I know you want to hold the trophy, but you will one day. Everybody wants to hold a blue trophy, let's, uh, let's be honest, but phenomenal year, yeah. We wrapped up, I think, six in the AOI standings, and uh, this is actually our first top 10 this year, though, so uh, good year. We made the Bassmaster Classic, it's always the goal. Uh, phenomenal river, y'all. Y'all got something special here. I said this yesterday. This place is amazing. It's chock full of fish. You could do whatever you want. I mean, I went flipping six inches of water today and caught them. I went throwing top water for smallmouth today and caught them. Drug a Carolina rig. And, oh, we won't say that. We don't want to talk about dragging a Carolina rig. That's not as fun as top water and flipping. But uh, we uh, want to say a big shout out to the true VMP, VIP of uh, Team Mary, and that's my wife, Emily, at home. Her and the girls are watching. Sweetie, I'm, I'm going to start the drive tonight. I won't finish it tonight, but I'll be home tomorrow. And a uh, big shout out to a uh, close friend of mine. They had a had their little boy this morning. So uh, Kyle and Catherine, congratulations! They had their baby boy. I knew he, they probably had him when uh, when I was gone, but uh, I'll get to see him soon, as soon as I get home. Safe hey, travels home, but before you go, I gotta ask you, what's the off-season plans for you? Well, that's pretty obvious. I think every 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 guy up here is a big big hunter for the most part, and the guys that don't hunt in the off-season they fish. But I tell you, I told my cameraman Trey today. I said, man, if I catch one. On this last cast, it might be my last bass of 2022. And he looked at me kind of funny. And I said, no, I'm serious, man. I hang my rods up for about three months solid. I spent a lot of time with the family, spent a lot of time in the woods. And uh, that's, uh, and I picked up pickleball, by the way. Anybody pick, play pickleball? <laughs> well, there's, there's some, everybody looks at me weird when I say that. They're like, that's an old person sport. I said, no, it's a lot of fun. You got to try it. Got addicted to that about six months ago. So uh, Happy hunting and pickleballing. We'll see you at the Bassmaster Classic. 46 pounds and 9 ounces as of this morning. He needs 14-14 to take over the Yeti hot seat at the guaranteed rate. Bassmaster Elite on Mississippi River. Looking for 14 pounds, 14 ounces. 16 pounds, 11 ounces. With 63 pounds, 4 ounces, your day one leader takes over the lead with just two anglers left away. Started it with 48.10, needs 14 pounds, 11 ounces. 14 pounds, 6 ounces. Brian Schmidt is a two-time Bassmaster Elite Series champion. Schmidt seals the deal and becomes a two-time Bassmaster Elite Series champion. Finished up seventh place. Matt got me by a little bit. He finished up sixth, so good job, Matt. 
Um, awesome week again, guys. Thank you so much for watching this video. Uh, do me a huge favor. Smash the like button because the, these guys, Mac and McCoy, they bust their tails trying to make this content for you guys. So let's give them a big like. Drop a comment down below. Let me know what you like about the videos. And uh, thank you so much for all the support, guys. This is the end of the season. End of the unfinished family business. We still got some goals ahead of us. We've made the Bassmasters Classic. Of course, that is goal number one is to win a Classic for Pops. Goal number two is to win a Blue Trophy. So we're going to have to wait till next year to do that. But um, you know what? I, when I sum up this whole year, and we're going to do a 2020 recap for the season uh, video, which I think will be pretty nice, where I'll kind of break down every, every one of the tournaments throughout the season. But you know what? Good week. Good week. A lot of fun. Hope we come back. And thank you so much for watching these videos, guys. Love you very much. Stay tuned for the next little video dropping here. A little 2020 action coming your way. Huge shout out to Mobile for sponsoring this video series, guys. Mobile Delvac. Mission Unstoppable. It was so fitting for this whole series. So, guys, again, when this thing's over, check the link out in the description. Mission Unstoppable. And uh, we appreciate all the support, guys. More videos coming your way. We'll see you. BAM!